Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizich.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sign up for a Yelp.com personal account. So here's Yelp.com, right? So what you want to do is go to, go to Yelp.com the way you see it spelled here. Click on on Sign Up for Yelp, or you can click here. It doesn't really matter. Click just Sign Up now anywhere that you see it. And here's what's going to happen. What I recommend you do is you first log into your Facebook account. So if you log into your Facebook account, what's going to happen is they're going to ask you to if you want to connect your Facebook account with Yelp. This is the way I recommend you sign up for a personal account. So you're going to see something there that says sign up with Facebook. Basically, point, however it shows up on your screen because it's different for others, just make sure that you sign up with your Facebook account. After you sign up with your Facebook account, then basically you're going to now be into the Yelp system. I'm going to go ahead and log in because I already have a sign up and there's just a few key things that I want to share with you just to be sure that you do because it's really super straightforward sign up for a Yelp account these are just some key things that for the sake of a marketing perspective that I want you to just understand alright so the first one I'm just gonna go ahead and log in alright so once you after you sign up what you want to do is the following click on go to my profile alright because we're gonna here's the things you want to just be sure that you do the first thing you want to be sure you do is be sure to completely fill out your profile. So what what exactly does that mean? All right. Well, we we click on go to our profile or however it is on your page, and just when you're there on the left hand side, you'll see your profile. When you actually go to your profile home on the left hand side, just scroll to the bottom and click on update your profile. However it shows up, and basically just be sure to fill out every single part that they, that they ask. Fill it fill it out with something that you want. All right. Now the key one that I want to make sure you explain is on my blogger website put your personal website here and then for your second website maybe put your Facebook account or maybe put one of your other websites just the key thing is really this first one make sure you put your direct website link and then the rest just keep filling them out just put something in all of them pretty straightforward and simple on that aspect right not really there's nothing marketing fancy about doing this it's just having an account now the second thing this one is just important dude to claim your name let's go back to our Yelp homepage and what you want to do is go back to go to my profile and now what we're going to do is create a personal URL so you see this section here you should see something here that has a personal URL of yours somewhere what you want to do is click on edit whatever that wherever that personal URL appears and basically get your own URL so basically right here just write your name just spell it out dot yelp dot com so that way your direct address on Yelp is going to be your name dot yelp dot com and basically hit save that's the second most important thing you should be doing on this system alrighty so now uh, let's go back to welcome and that's pretty straightforward on that part now are the other items I just want you to make sure you do so the first one is go to your settings so at the top right you'll see your name hover down or click on the click on your name and then go to account settings now at this point here's what you want to do the first thing is connect your Yelp account with social media this is going to become really important because part of you growing on Yelp and appearing for when people search you and, and so forth is going to be to use it a lot. Now that sounds like a lot of work, but it really isn't. So just do the following. First, go to external services and click change settings. What we're doing right now is connecting to our Facebook and Twitter accounts. Now right here, I'm already connected to my Facebook and Twitter accounts. So what, but what you want to do is you're going to see a button that says connect to Facebook. You just want to make sure you click on that and then you connect it and then you want to do the same thing for Twitter connect on Twitter so basically the whole point is you're connected to Twitter and and Twitter and Facebook however there's one extra thing I want to make sure you do see this little button here after you connect it says you're all it's gonna ask you if you want to automatically friend your friends on Yelp that are on Facebook this is extremely important for growing your Yelp presence so you see that and so the whole point is make sure that you click this button so that way you'll uh, you'll set up to automatically friend Facebook friends that join Yelp meaning the following let's say if if John Doe creates a new uh, a new Yelp account and Josh Galvin's Facebook account and John Doe's Facebook accounts are already connected well basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna now find John Doe here on Yelp and, and friend it with my Josh Galvin account on Yelp so it basically does the work for you this is extremely important to do so check that off so and here's the other reason why it matters let's go back to account settings another big part of Yelp is having friends so right now you see right here you have not added any friends to your list well basically here's the whole point you know that button I just talked about you see right here see all these people that it's showing well now basically this comes up you have 154 Facebook friends 
that you're not friends with on Yelp yet. So the whole point is click this button. This button finds all the people for me that I'm already connected with. So that button only comes up when you do that little section I showed you when you connect your account. So in this part, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add all these friends to my Yelp account. And you want to basically do the exact same. So that way your Facebook friends and your Yelp friends are going to be connected. All right? So while and that was that that was actually the second section we just talked about inviting all your friends. So while that's going, I'm just going to reopen Yelp so we could get back to the home page. And now for some reason my city changed, but doesn't really matter. So the whole point is here's the final thing I want to just leave you off with. After you do these items, you're technically done setting up your personal Yelp account. You still got to set up your business account and then um, if you're going to set up your business account, I recommend you set up your Google Places account. Check out those videos. But just a couple quick things on how you will use Yelp, all right? So here's how you're going to use Yelp. And here's the whole concept of it. Let's say you went to a nice restaurant. So um, I'm, I'm currently living in San Francisco. Well, I'm obviously Orange County is my hometown and I go there almost every three or four weeks. So one of my favorite places to eat in Orange County is basically Felix's. It's a restaurant. So how you use Yelp is the following. Let's say I'm in Orange, California and I go to that restaurant Felix's. Well, basically one way that you use it, it's called checking in. And you'll see on Yelp that they have they basically have mobile app. They have a mobile app. This is going to be really important for you on your cell phone to get the Yelp to get the Yelp app. All right? Now, um, all you got to do is just go on your cell phone, download the Yelp app. It's even on their home page when you on Yelp when you go there. For some reason it's not showing it for me, but I think cuz I already have it. But the whole point is you want to get a mobile app and how you how you are going to use it is basically by checking into places meaning let's say I was at the restaurant Felix's right now well when I'm there I just check in and I'm saying you know ha gonna have dinner at one of my favorite places you know and then basically you just check in and what that does is that connects you it just shows that you checked into a restaurant you were there now the other and and they basically just establishes your presence that's the first way the second way and this is really the most important way is leaving reviews Leaving reviews is the essence of Yelp, all right? So here's exactly how it works and how you do it. Number one, you could do it, do it through your mobile phone. Whether you have an iPhone, any kind of Android phone or anything, you could do it through your phone. But if you want to do it through online, here's how you do it. You go to write a review, right? So you see right here how it says, which businesses would you like to review? Well, basically, you have to first add the location. So I click this drop-down menu and I would go to my I would go to orange but let's pretend I didn't have that location right so first you want you would do the following then add a saved location you see this button and what this is doing what I want you to get used to it doing right here is understanding that anywhere you check in you want to make that location exist alright so let's say um, let's say I didn't have that area before I didn't have the area orange right well basically when I go to write a review, let's say I'm trying to find Felix's, right? And Felix's is not in San Francisco, it's in Orange. So I type in Felix. Well, basically, it's not going to find anything because I need to put Orange. But since I don't have that option, what I have to do is go to Add a Saved Location. And what I'm going to do is simply add a new location. And I'm going to just name it, you know, name it whatever you want. And then just type in the city. So the whole point is you have to activate this city inside your Yelp account in order for you to start writing reviews on anywhere in that city. The reason why this matters and the only reason why I'm mentioning this now is because on the on step on the, on one of the last step of our entire Yelp and local based marketing system is we're going to start reviewing fellow agents you've worked with and not just fellow agents you've worked with obviously ones that aren't you aren't directly competing with but just other agents and having other people do this to you you need to explain this to them. So either you could show them this part of the video to add a local place meaning the following. Let's say Let's say I want to leave a review like what I'm doing for Felix's. Well, I couldn't do it if I don't have that location here. So first I had to add a location. And after I add a location, I had to now go back. And after I do that, when I go to write a review, now that I have a location added like orange, I could type in Felix. And then you'll see it come up, Felix Continental Cafe. And now I could search it. And basically what happens is it's going to come up. And here it is right here. And at this point now, all I gotta do is just leave the review of whatever I like about this place. So you go here, and what you would do is basically write a review, and all you're gonna do now is just write your review of what you rate it high, you know, and write out write out your review. I love the pork chops, but not spelling. Well, obviously I'll I'll write a real real review, but the whole point is you want to write a review. All right, so you're gonna be doing that 
just get used to that concept that when you write a review, you have to first add the location and then write a review. This is going to be extremely important when you start helping yourself out by having others review you and then when you're going to start helping other agents and, and having them help you in turn, you're going to have to do this as well. All right. So that's everything for setting up your Yelp account. It's really straightforward. The final step is going to go into the, as the final step of this tutorial series is going to go into the actual marketing items that we're going to be doing. So look for that. It's really just directional, but just the general concept is a general marketing plan for Yelp on how you want to be using it. All right. Well, good luck. Take care.